All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Word with Ty Brownlow. I am your host, Ty Brownlow. And remember, no one is worthless. No story is worthless. And today, ladies and gentlemen, got a very special guest for you. Give you a couple of words about my guest. Organizer, fashion, collaboration, owner, originally from Jersey. Put your hands together for Miss Bree Carroll. Hello, hello, everyone. Thank you so much for those words. That was on point. I like that. That was awesome. I appreciate you. Look here, you know, we try to back up. We do our homework around here. We try to make sure you're good. <laughs> now, you know, all right. So, uh, man, one of the words I used was owner. Uh, yeah. You are the owner of B. Carroll Events. Can you tell us a little bit about your business. Yes, absolutely. So thank you for the opportunity to share a little bit about my story. Mm -hmm. I am Brie Carroll, the owner of B Carroll Events. And really that is just something that I see as continuing the legacy that my mom started mm -hmm. growing up in Jersey. She was a teacher full-time and part-time was a florist. And back then they didn't really have wedding and event planners, the florist, or maybe the DJ was the person who was putting everything together. So I always saw my mom serving through her floral work, you know, blessing people, bringing joy to an event, changing the atmosphere. And I was like, you know what? That's gonna be my retirement job. That's what I called it when I was little. Cause you know, I, helping hands, always there on the scenes, helping her set up. And then as I continued through my civil engineer career, which I don't know if you knew that, um, but yes, I've been a civil engineer with the Air Force for over 10 years. And I got to a point where I was just like, I need to, to try I need to step out and just do this thing right here and just see if I can be successful with my own and that's what I did I just was like I'm gonna start early because what happens is I'm a military spouse also so with bouncing around you're never really sure how you will continue to progress in your career so you're like I really need to think about having my own and I'd encourage any of your listeners out there think about what can you have that is yours because working for a nine to five that is great I encourage that climb that ladder if that's what you are interested in but also think about yourself your brand what can be yours what can you take on and lead when we're in uncertain times like this pandemic right what can what can you enjoy via your creative outlet via using your knowledge so I, I stepped out and I said I was going to start Be Carol Events. I love events because I really feel like uh, moment, moments and creating events just create defining moments in people's lives. You think of weddings, you think of a party, you think of a block party, you think of a, it's, those are all moments that happen that impact your life. So Be Carol Events were just born out of seeing my mom bring joy to people. And I'm really, I just love events. So that's how I got into the wedding and event planning. And I can, as it continues to shift and transition through this journey, um, I love it. I continue to do events and, and it's what I enjoy. Look, and on top of that, y'all, wait a minute. Now, see, she just blew past the whole civil <laughs> engineering thing. She was like, oh, yeah, you know, that's just civil engineering. Like, you know, mm -hmm. that's, uh -huh, that's, uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody, wanna know. Everybody ain't got one of them. First and foremost, let me just say, pump the brakes. Okay. Everybody ain't got one of those. But I think, man, you know, having that background plus putting your business together, man, helps out a lot. You know, Absolutely. Plans, you know, you have to plan, you know, you have to, man, there are all these steps that go into just, you know, doing just this one event. And especially if it's something that, you know, you love to do, you want to give it your all. I'm pretty sure there have been times we have overthought something when it was very simple. Like, you know what? I don't really need the exploding right. white candles and all that. Correct. You know what? Beast? You know what? This little sparkle over here would do. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. And I mean, I, I absolutely love it. I think um, I'm just from my experience as an engineer, you're absolutely right. All engineers are problem solvers, right? So, and I use, I take those things, the skills that I have with that I would use for like roads and bridges and pavement design, problem solving skills. And I say, now what can make this event in this moment 
impactful. You use that same problem skills, those sk skill sets, and it just transfers over from thing to thing, even as I move into um, coaching, because I do coaching as well now, because you can take those problem solving pieces. I'm telling you, people underestimate themselves. You everybody think you got to be one dimensional. We it's 2021, guys. Y'all got to come off that. You can do a lot with the things that you are in your talent skill set, and you can expound on them and see like, oh yeah, I'm I'm an engineer and I'm rising in that area, but I can also have use those same problem solving skills over here in this creative venture when it comes to doing production of events and you know what i can still use that problem solving skill when it comes to helping people elevate their lives it's all tied together everybody else don't see it but it's okay because i'm a rocket because it's my business right and you can yeah, do it however look, look, you can okay. do it however you look, want look here i'm sitting here and i'm listening to you and i'm like yeah she got no this ain't just Oh no, man, she got some other stuff. And right. <laughs> listening to you talk, but I mean, there's these many layers, layers. Exactly. Layers, layers. And just having, man, once again, I'm gonna bring it back. Civil engineering, all right? Putting things together, all right? That's right. And, man, problem solving, man, in order to problem solve, you sometimes you have to see the problem before it even arises. Right. What's to come. And you may, man, they talk about step A and step B. Sometimes you may have to be on like step F because you're not, you're not wrong. <laughs> man, you may have to be on step F. A and B ain't gonna get it. You know, what right? I'm you gotta think so, through, right? Think through those options, right? You gotta think it through. So, man, look here, well, powerhouse, powerhouse over here. Okay, I just, I just try hard, y'all. See, you know what? Let's see. Look here. We're gonna give you these flowers, girl. You're gonna I appreciate you for that. Okay, I appreciate all right. It. <laughs> all right, let's talk about man, you organizing the GY6 virtual fashion showcase. Talk yes. to us about this. Yeah, so GY6 happened to be just one of those, I am a, what I like to call a good idea fairy, a gif, if you will. And I just, I'll just be sitting there and I'll just put things together again in my mind. And I was just thinking about, um, being a military spouse, other people in the community, a lot of times their spouses are not, or significant others are not there during Valentine's Day, during holidays. Mm -hmm. And I just was looking through like, what are some other things? What are some, some ways to bring experiences to people virtually that would be different? That's not, you know, the typical, you know, hearts and stuff what 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 do we enjoy what do we need right now right now we need some unity right now we need some expression we need to enjoy life right because even though people are like we getting back to normal no we got a new flow and, and it's okay and we can celebrate that so i was just sitting there thinking i was like okay valentine's day february the 14th well you know me being from jersey i'm right there by new york new york fashion week february happens like clockwork and they're doing things virtually and i just was like what what if, what, what if we just so happen to kick off things right before New York Fashion Week and we do a show, produce a show that highlights veteran and military spouse designers. It's all focused on unity. It's showing messages of love, camaraderie. And then we call it GY6, which if people didn't know, that just stands for got your six or got your back. Your six, got your six. It's a terminology that has been used Right, it's a terminology that's been used, um, I believe since World War One. they started using that. GY6 pilots used to say that all the time. So in the military community, we like to say, you know, GY6, I got your six, I got your back. Well, this fashion experience that people are gonna see via the GY6 show is really a collaboration. People coming together in unity, in love, showcasing that self-expression of the military community. It's showing off some bomb designers, which I'm excited about, which are in the community. It, most of everyone on there, minority owned businesses, small businesses. What? So there's a lot of different elements to the show that we have the opportunity to celebrate. And I, if, we, if you know, like I know, after 2020, we need to start looking forward to some, some things. So some messages of collaboration, camaraderie, love, unity. That's that's what GY6 Show is all about. Look here. I said collaboration. All right. I ain't even know <laughs> you say all this other stuff. Like one of the words I use was collaboration. Why? Because 
we do our homework around here. Okay? Right. <laughs> Look, no, exactly. seriously, like, I love it. I love it. I just love how innovative it is. And man, you know, like you said, you're from Jersey. You know, usually around this time, man, New York fashion. That's week, what's that buzzing. Week. Right. And, man, and it's popping. It's this, that, and the other. You know what? Nah. What if we do our own and this and the other and I can highlight and showcase you all and we do this and put this together and exactly, you know, exactly. And tying it all together. I mean, with Valentine's Day, the theme of the show, I can give because it's just us speaking, right? The theme of the show, the behind the scenes, it's all about chocolate. So we get we showing you different flavors from different okay. designers. So we have Hershey's. Shout out to Hershey's. They are a sponsor. They're doing giveaways um, for our military community. Lyft Chocolate, veteran owned chocolate company is doing giveaways um, just to bring all of that together every flavor of chocolate means a different designer so we bringing this thing full circle we hitting on valentine's day so that you know you can i mean you can get fresh for the for the fashion show is virtually you can check it out at www.gy6show.com okay or i mean you can wear your yoga pants and your sweats and just enjoy that box of chocolate whatever works for you but it's an opportunity for you to really just enjoy see all the pieces come together and just experience something fresh and new from a different perspective as these designers did they serve they are veterans they are military spouse what what love means to them is different maybe than what love means to the average civilian and what i mean by that is there is a love for country that's different mm. that can be expressed during the day of love right mm. that love between um your significant other well they're halfway across the world that love look different than the person that has the opportunity to be with their spouse all the time you know it's just it is just different and it it's a unique perspective that i feel like needs to be showcased and celebrated girl look you better stop you better stop right now stop it okay look man i love it a like i said man you're gonna hear me say this word until we're done with this interview innovative i can't say it enough i don't know if it's the civil engineering degree or whatever, <laughs> what have you. But like the fact that you're putting all this together, you're highlighting, you know, man, minority owned women, you know, man, even yes. highlighting yes. them, you know, giving a voice to those who maybe at this point in time, maybe, you know, a little bit down or something like this, lifts the spirits, shows everybody who you are. Exactly. Oh, exactly exactly and we got some amazing designers i'm really excited about them charlie madison original she has um a bracelet line woman-owned business she's a military sh spouse okay. um michelle collins wendell she's been featured in a couple of magazines as an up-and-coming designer she had to pivot with this pandemic she does designer masks now okay. she uses a lot of like some bold color choices some she's she's bringing the spice when it comes to the to the show i'm excited for her triple nickel they are amazing all veteran owned these brothers got it look when i'm telling you they're spent they're, they're sending a message of diversity in our armed forces they're sharing the heritage of triple nickel y'all gotta look it up it's awesome they are just they're really doing their thing and damian lee veteran owned exotic handbags y'all who Come on. Exotic well, handbags. We, we all, all over. We're showcasing so many different elements of fashion in this runway show. It's all virtual. It's got some little flavor in there that I, I'm telling you, you're not going to want to miss. And, and Ty, let me just say, you are our VIP guest. You send me your information. I got a VIP pass on the way for you to get that backstage experience. You can meet with the designers. Check it all out. It's going to be fantastic. And first and foremost, I will be sending you that information. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, look here. No, seriously, man, I am down because first and foremost, everything that you're talking about, A is needed, okay? Yeah, like, yeah. Man, um, you hit it on it earlier, man. This is sort of like everybody's talking about this new normal or whatever, or what have you. It's just a new flavor. And That's it. man, That's like it. nothing against 2019, because 2019 was a great year. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like at the 2019, man, like if you didn't figure out what the new flavor is gonna be or how you could switch up yours exactly. to the like, man, make it like more diversified for everyone else, I don't know what to tell you because in 2021, 
is really all about, man, diversifying, collaborating, mm -hmm. putting things together. As you said, this is a virtual world. Man, this is a virtual um show. That's right. Oh, mind blowing. Once <laughs> again, I just want you to tell the people, how can they, you know, view this? Where can they go view? Absolutely. Please, please head over to www.gy6show.com. You can RSVP there. We want to make sure that you're RSVP because that's how you get in on all of these giveaways. I already told you, we're hooking you up with some chocolates for Valentine's Day. You can also get some information about, and the exclusive capsule that all the designers will come out with. They will release an exclusive item. Hint, hint, it's all black, y'all, because you know, we, we love all black. Right. The, the capsule items, you'll have exclusive assets access to that and you'll be able to support those small businesses if you choose but you can definitely connect join the live stream it'll be at gy6show.com hit up the instagram page we'll show you all the behind the scenes you can follow the stories of the people everyone involved happens to be in this military community everyone from the models who's doing the video editing the people who are out the creative team it's all a military community. And if I can just foot stomp this one for a second, it's not the stereotype that you would see when you see pictures of the military, because you usually don't see the minority faces as much represented. And you don't also see that they're multidimensional, that they are creative, that yes, they can serve and they may go out and, and do what they do in their specialty, they're trained, but there is also another side to them where they are creative, where they are sexy. These models are, are bringing it, I'm telling you, and these are strong women who, who can showcase that they are more than just the uniform that they put on. So check out the show. I just, I can't say enough about it. So I'm just gonna tell y'all what just happened and everything she just said right here, okay? We gonna have to get her back on the show, <laughs> going to do a panel. And man, you just you just hinted on something that I don't really think a lot of people take time out to see. But man, these are regular people with regular lives. Yeah, me yeah. Being in the military is just me being in the military. You know, what I'm right? Saying? But right. I have a whole, man, there's a whole other spectrum to me. And you are correct because the media does not show, you know, especially like minority soldiers, you know, at the forefront, something like this. I would have never heard. I would have never heard of this. Correct. And uh, man, more than likely, the listeners out here probably wouldn't have heard of it as well because it's not broadcasted enough. And it's more of a, you know, it's more of a fantasy thing. You have to watch an episode of NCIS or right, something. Like right, you, right. Yes, I. Like, oh, you know, they're doing the best. Oh, right, and oh. their uniforms be wrong. We we be watching them shows like, that's not, he ain't even the right, right? He ain't even shaved. What's going on? Like, that's not right. That's not accurate. He too old to play this part, but it's fine. I get off my soapbox, but it's just, Ooh. it's funny what you'll see in movies and media and it paints a certain picture of what, service men and women are like and that's not true and and especially when it and without without getting super political no. especially when it came to 2020 you mm -hmm. had the military painted a certain type of way because you had certain calls being made when people yeah. were protesting in different mm -hmm. areas so mm -hmm. the military got skewed in a certain way and the reality is the minorities that serve even even those who are of the majority that serve that was not necessarily where their heart was when it came to those demonstrations when it came to acts of social justice they walk a different line than the average civilian because when they are called to serve they truly are called to serve the country and who we all of us elect to, to lead us <laughs> will call the shots and and the actions that they will have to do so i think we see service members we see service families and we see these stereotypes and this is just another opportunity to just show they are more than they are more than these pictures that you may see that may be skewing your vision of what these families are. I mean, maybe listeners out there, you can maybe think of somebody you might have a family member that yeah. serve are do they fit that stereotype? Maybe, maybe not. So let me just ask the question, because now since you brought it up, I, sure. Yeah, I'm, man, I'm going to ask it now. One of the biggest misconceptions. Mm -hmm. What is one of the biggest misconceptions, not only about minorities being banned, well, no, skip it. 
about minorities being in the military. What is one of the biggest misconceptions people out here have? So minorities being yeah, there? yeah. So one of the biggest misconceptions I think for minorities in the military is that they could not get a job, so they settled on joining the military and it was just a way for them to to get by because like this was their last choice their last option let me tell you right now really? let, me, let me sit back real quick okay uh, because because i gotta i gotta brag a little bit my husband he had a dream to fly so he happens to be a pilot in the air force our leader for air force is a black man he is a general mm. that took degrees <laughs> that took hmm. a level of discipline that takes and, and i think oftentimes we we just think of minorities in the military in this small minute way like oh yeah they just they just settled on no this is a true career path for people and it takes a different level of dedication than maybe you you going into other type of careers right because you have a service commitment and you are putting your life and sacrificing in a different way than other nine to fives maybe have you have you sacrificed and i think the opportunities that are found in the military in the armed service it's just it is very different and to just paint one small picture that that was their last choice so they just decided to because they didn't know what they wanted to do with their life no there's some brilliant people out here and i'm just passionate about it because no. i'm a civil engineer working for the air force so i i work alongside these people and i see the stories the creativity like there are some there are some amazing people and some amazing opportunities and for any anyone please do do your research check it out you may find out that there's your your career field may be in the military i'm not recruiting for the military i'm just simply saying when you open your mind and you look into what is actually happening in the armed services what opportunities what career fields the diversity of the people the women in leadership shout out to the women who are coming up because I think those misconceptions mm -hmm. of the image of what are in the military is because of how our early history is in just America, period. Minorities yeah. in the early stages of America, they were segregated. They were only allowed to be cooks and to dig ditches mm -hmm. and to do limited amount of service. I mean, people know about Tuskegee Airmen. They broke, they were breaking that glass ceiling and, and guess what? It continued women as well women in service they were able to serve in the marines they were able to serve in branches that they previously weren't able to and now they're leading look at the leadership just google it google the leadership now in the armed service that is it's, it's exciting didn't they just have i don't know if it was west point or something but like someone just graduated it was a woman black woman i can't think of which uh, oh yeah, and it and it was still like one of the first. In, they, in, right, she was one of the first, and I'm like, damn, this is still. Like, we're man, still coming up on first. Yeah, we're still coming up on first, and it's still so exciting to celebrate and see. And that's why I think this GY6 show just expands your mindset outside of what the military community looks like like yeah we have people who are serving and sacrificing because they are because they they want to do something honorable they want to serve a mission that's bigger than themselves but they're also so creative and this video is going to be live because a service member did it and she gonna come down the runway and she's gonna strut this design but she sacrifices for her family like it's so many different stories that are interwoven into gy6 show and i'm excited to celebrate and showcase it i look man look look we can go all night talking about <laughs> this and everything that's going on because i'm loving it i mean this is refreshing this is what's needed you know yeah and yeah. i'm just gonna keep it real i feel it's just a side of the military people honestly need to see yes you know because we have our own misconceptions and you know man especially within the african you know american community you know there's history of people going off to war going off to fight these battles right home yeah vietnam messed messed our our, our mentalities up when it came to the military to some extent to, it, but, it, but okay but now you're talking about something that happened what late 60s early 70s we're talking man what 50 years later still the effect agent yeah. orange and everything else that's going on man so 
when you have to go through all those, you know, misconceptions and take these strides and do this and do that, and you coming on, man, you coming out on top. Not only are you coming out on top, but I'm showing you everything that you heard. It's not right. Man, yeah. I'm gonna go old school. Don't believe the hype. Okay. Don't believe the oh. hype. You gotta oh. check it out. You gotta see it for yourself. And I would encourage, besides just checking it out and seeing for yourself, support. Support these these veterans. Support. I mean, like you said, what happened years ago still has its effects. The homeless population of veterans is ridiculous right now yes. because yes. because that support wasn't there the way we they thought it would be at that time. Is, are we trying to correct some things? Is the government trying to? Correct? Sure, they are. But we have to be the hands and feet that that extends and show some love to to those veterans who who are in those in those positions because of situations that happened years ago. We got some amazing people who serve in the military community right now. They have nonprofits that give to the causes. And that's why I'm passionate about who I support. Veterans, of course, and military spouses, they're gonna be on the top of my list. Minority owned businesses at the top of my list. Why? These are underserved areas. And that's why it's worth celebrating and highlighting. Okay, so look here. If people want to get in contact with some Brie Carroll, how can yeah. man, look at how can people come see you? How can people talk to you? How can people get in contact? Man, look at I want to anything I can to be part of the GY6. Yes, be a part of the GY6. You guys, like I said, follow us, GY6 show on Instagram, gy6show.com. If y'all want to hit me up, I it's it's Brie Carroll on Instagram. You can email me. I check my emails, y'all. I respond. It's Brie at B Carol Events with an S dot com. That's Brie at B Carol Events dot com. I'd be happy to chat with you guys. Um, I, I just I just get passionate about this stuff. I love I love what I do. I love to collaborate, support people. And, and and that's what I'm all about, and that's what I'll continue to do along this journey as I as I continue to evolve in my own way with these with these events. So man, look, Bree Carroll didn't brought the energy today, y'all. Okay, <laughs> man, she got me all bad sitting all up in the chair. I'm about sit, to sit up in the chair, all, right? You no know, man, but man, look, I have thoroughly enjoyed myself. Man, talking to you has definitely been a pleasure. Thank Unfortunately. You. I have to ask the last question. The last question. The last question. The question my show is known for, but I'm going to give it to you. Sure. Miss Brie Kepp, what is the one word that best describes you and why? Encourager. I'm going to go with encourager. And I'm going to say encourager just because we talked about a lot of things in this, in this short time, right? And at my core, that's what I love to do. I like to encourage people to see their potential. I love to encourage people to thrive. I encourage people to support. I encourage people to have a good time, to live the life that they were destined to live. Like that at my core, in every step that I see, I, I encourage people because I tend to see bigger, that big picture, that engineering view. I see that big picture and everybody can't always see that for themselves. So I'm an encourager. Okay, all right. Man, look here. I'm gonna take it a step further. Power. And I'm gonna tell you why, man. Mm. Watch how I bring all this home real quick. So, man, everything that you, everything that we've discussed, everything that we've talked about, everything that you do, you know what I'm saying, and organizing this event, bringing everything together, <laughs> takes power. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, all that- I appreciate stuff, that. Ooh, man. <laughs> But you're going to make it happen. You're going to man make it move on this platform at yeah. this at this or what? Hmm. Power. Like there's no other, man. There's no all the other stuff is great. And I receive it. Great. Power. Yeah, that's good. Power. <laughs> okay, because you man, you have to have it. Right. Cue yeah. the music. They say this is a big rich town. Man, come on. Mm. <laughs> where you at? Run my from the, right, right. Check you, you, you better pay the pay the man. Just, woo! Look here. No, I have thoroughly enjoyed myself. Please, Miss Bree Carroll, man, you are yes. right back to the show. Thank you, thank you. Anytime, man, ladies and gentlemen, 
I've been Ty Brown Lowe. This has been World with Ty Brown Lowe. Remember, no one is worthless. No story is worthless. You can follow me on all social media platforms at World with Ty Brown Lowe, or just go to my website, tybrownlow.com, get this wonderful interview, plus other great interviews. Free care. Man. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you. All right.